Okay, Marcus, you and your wife got home after this party with your friends. They're her friends, not mine. Okay, her friends. And you left at 11, 11.30? Yeah. Well, which was it? What? 11 or 11.30? Uh, 11. You sure? Yeah, 11. And then you started arguing? Yeah, that's right. About what? I don't remember. It says here that it was about her driving. Yeah, probably. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> what is it with you men and our driving? You're my husband. He is always on me about my driving. I don't think he would kill me about it, though. Is it that bad? Of course not. You think this is funny? No. I don't. So, let's be clear. You started arguing and then she happened to fall down some steps, right? Yeah, that's right. And that's how she died? Yeah, that's what I said. What's that? Your wife? How do you explain all the blood? Of course there's blood. She fell down the steps. According to this, she suffered a spinal injury and severe damage to the back of her head. How do you explain that? She must have fallen on the steps when she fell. Her head was struck repeatedly with a hard surface. Of course, it is possible that she hit every single step on her way down. But it's very unlikely, especially given that there were only six steps. Did you kill your wife, Marcus? I didn't. I told you it was an accident. But you have had accidents before, haven't you? What accidents? February 16th, I hit her across the face and she fell straight to the floor. Blood was dripping onto the floor. May 5th, this time she tried to fight back, but she was too weak for me. She is always too weak for me. June 1st, I held her up. Is that what it says? What do you mean you held her up? You ever had that moment where you lose control, officer? Well, that was one of those moments. I just had enough, enough for crap. At that moment, I wanted to kill her. So I, I held her up by her neck and I tried to strangle her. But I couldn't. What made it different this time? I don't know. It's a trivial argument. Yeah, we both wanted to win. It's like we knew something was going to happen, something bad. So you killed her? I pushed her. I, I, I pushed her. She fell, just arguing, shouting, and suddenly... I thought she fell on her own. She did fall. You just said you pushed her. No, no, I, I, I pushed her, and, and she, she tripped and she fell. Marcus. Marcus, you need to get your story straight. One minute you pushed, the next you didn't. 
Then the head wounds that you did or didn't do, it's a complete mess. You need to get it correct in your head first. Here, right now, the punishment for murder is 20 years minimum. What? And from where I'm sitting, that is being very generous. Confession, unsure whether you committed murder or not, the head wounds, changing your mind. It's not looking good. And there were only six steps. She would have to be pretty unlucky to have died from that fall. You will be going to jail. You knew that from the very beginning, the moment you started banging her head against the floor. The blood is on your hands. You tell me the truth and this will all be over. The guilt, all gone. you do that to such a beautiful woman? I loved her. She fell. We got in an argument and she fell. I couldn't. I couldn't go to the police. Of course, you wouldn't believe me. So you've been charged for the murder of your wife. The angel is on the sideline.